Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and watch OS 7 is here bringing a ton of new features and changes to your Apple watch. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the top 50 new features and changes that you will find on watch OS 7. First of all, let's take a look at the watch app on the iPhone. You will find right here all the new watch faces that Apple has added to watch OS 7. You can see right here we have like seven new watch faces, which of course all of them can be customized. You will have a new discover button right here, which basically shows you different tips and tricks that you need to know regarding your watch on watch os 7 and of course you have a tab here to explore watch apps on the app store moving on to the watch itself when you go to customize one of your watch faces you will notice a totally new interface right here you have an edit button instead of the customize button you tap right here and you will see everything is new from the color pickers to everything else everything has been redesigned here when you go ahead and try to change like the complications and all that stuff you will notice that everything has been changed also you will have a button which now allows to share any of your watch faces so if you want to share a watch face you can do that directly from your apple watch if you're using one of your photos as a watch face now you will have the ability to add filters to that photo so you can see right here you have basically the same same thing as the color picker but this one allows you to add filters to your watch face when you want to change one of your complications you can see that that has been changed as well so the complications now look much much different and of course now we have more than one complication for one app so here we have weather you can see we have three or even more here for the weather app so you will see all these different complications for one app you will be able also to go ahead and switch between different complications using the letter so you don't have to scroll all the way up or all the way down you can change between them using different letters which is really really cool also at the top here you will find a button that allows to set the complication as off so if you don't want to have any complications on that part you just tap the off button now we have also a new complication for the camera remote which can be added to any of your watch faces and also now you can add contacts as a complication on your watch face so on the complication screen you will see a list of your contacts which of course can be used on the watch face now there is also a new complication for shortcuts so if you want to have shortcuts on the complications now you can do that with watch os 7. Taking a look at watch OS 7, you will notice that Apple is removing force touch from the Apple watch. Now, when you go to your notifications, you will have a button here to clear all the notifications. You don't have to force touch on the screen to do that. Also, now you will have a new button that allows to manage your notifications directly from the notification center of your Apple watch. So you can deliver quietly or turn off these notifications on your Apple watch. There is also the new look for Siri, just like on iOS, you will have also the new look here here on your apple watch which is of course really really cool and now you can translate using siri on your apple watch how to say hello in spanish in spanish hello is hola and you can see right there you can go ahead and basically translate anything you want on your apple watch and now we also have the camera and the mic icon which shows here on the apple watch when one of your apps is using the camera or the mic so you can see right there on siri it does show right there the little icon for the microphone there are a ton of updates on the apps as well especially on the camera app there are a ton of new updates you can now switch between the camera so you can set the timer here you can switch between the camera you can change the flash from auto to on to off and you will also have the options here for live photos now you can turn on or off live photos directly from the watch and you can do the same for hdr directly from the camera app on your apple watch on the weather app now you can change the viewing basically if you tap right here you can change what you want to see you want to see the temperature the conditions or the participation you can do each of them directly from here and now on the apple watch it will also show the air quality index just like on ios with watch os 7 you will see the air quality index on your weather app there is the new hand washing feature on watch os 7 which basically motivates you to wash your hands for 20 seconds it also has its settings so if you go to settings go to hand wash you can enable or disable the hand washing timer on the activity app on watch os 7 you will find two different buttons if you scroll all the way down you have weekly summary right here and you will have another button to change your goal so basically apple has totally removed 
Force Touch from Apple Watch with Watch OS 7. Now everything is a button. There is of course the new sleep app on Watch OS 7. If you go ahead and open it, you will see your bedtime right here, you will see your wake up time, and you will have also a button for the full schedule. And you can also go ahead and enable or disable sleep schedule directly from your Apple Watch. Going to the control center on your Apple Watch, you will notice a few changes here as well. Now you will have a toggle here for the sleep mode and you will also have a toggle for announce messages with Siri. So these are two new toggles on the CC of your Apple Watch with Watch OS 7. And now you have the ability to also delete a few different toggles from the control center. So you can see right here you have that minus button, which basically allows you to delete any of them by tapping the, the edit button right here. And you can also have like more toggles by adding them from there. Going to the messages app at the top, you will see a new button for a new message. So when you want to type a new message, you tap that button right there. That's new on watch OS seven as well. You will get the same. If you go to your mail app, you will get a button right there to start a new email as easy as that. Those big blue buttons at the top of the iMessage and the email app on the workout app. There have been a few changes as well. New workouts have been added with watch OS seven. So you will have the dance workout. You will have cool down. This is very important and also you will have core training these are three new exercises that have been added to watch os with watch os 7. just like you do on the weather app on watch os 7 on the stocks app you can also change the viewing you go to viewing and you will have points market cap and percentage as well and you can go ahead and switch between them now you will have the shortcuts app right here on your Apple Watch and you have shortcuts that now can be run directly on the Apple Watch without having to use your iPhone. So that's really, really great. Here you will see a list of all the shortcuts that are supported on the Apple Watch. So you might have more on your iPhone, but here you will see only the ones that you can run on your Apple Watch. Going to the settings app, you will notice here things have been changed, haven't been moved around. So you will have a new view, new look right here on the settings app. You will find some really important new settings on the settings app. Now we have a new section here for battery. If you go here, you will find quite a few new features. You will see the percentage right there, last charged, and now you have battery health right here. If you go to the battery health section, you will have the option to enable optimized battery charging for your Apple Watch, which is really great. You should do that. And you will also see right here the maximum capacity of the battery of your Apple Watch. And right here you have power reserve as well. You can go ahead and enter the power reserve mode directly from here. On the notification settings, you will see a new option here for notifications indicator. You can enable or disable always show short locks and right here you have also notifications privacy and announce messages with Siri as well that can be enabled from the settings of the notifications. Under sounds and haptics, you will find the new feature that Apple has added to iOS 14 and also watch OS 7 and it's reduced loud sound. So if you go right here, you will have the option to reduce loud sounds and you can set them directly here using this slider. You can move up and down and set the limit of the sounds. There is a new section for apps view. So now you cannot force touch on the home screen of your watch to change between the list view and the grid view for the apps. You will have to do that from the settings. So you will have the grid and the list view and that can be changed from here. Going to the calculator settings, you will notice that now you can change here from tip function to percentage directly from the settings of the calculator app. Again, this only goes to show that Apple will be removing 3D touch or already has completely removed it from the Apple watch. So on watch OS seven, another great feature is that animations are really, really fast, much faster than on watch OS six. And that's really great. Another great feature is that now when your watch is fully charged, you will get a notification on your iPhone telling you that the watch has been charged completely. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is Watch OS 7, and these are the top 50 new features and changes that Watch OS 7 will bring to your Apple Watch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next one.